All right, Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do 41 word exam. Uh, this exam, uh, you still have the 100 points. The difference will be this one is longer. There are much more steps. I think it is about 25 steps. Let me double check. Yeah. It is 25 steps. All right. Then, uh, then you have only two attempts. All right. So it's a little bit tiny, a little bit more challenge. Let's do it right now. Click on this and title. Then click on the link to move to uh, link you to the link uh, you to the assignment in the same system. All right, so we still on our try try out fourteen day try. All right, start. Okay, back. I want to uh, download instruction file in my forty one. I want to download my uh, <coughs> startup file to the my forty one. I also download my supply. Uh, su support file right here. All right, so I have this right now. Then I'm going to open it up. My uh, instruction file. So the instruction file right here. Uh, tell me. Um, I need to do. Uh, uh as a uh, consultant, associate consultant, I need to complete a um, report. Okay, and then another thing uh, right here, we are going to do is just a minute, okay? So we got that report, and then the next thing we need to do is um, <clears throat> let me go back to my folder to get it. It's okay. So I got my report. Now I want to get my startup file. All right, this is my startup file. Okay. So I cannot start it until I change this to underscore two. So help me out. I say save as. Okay. Make the same folder, underscore two, and save. So I'm ready to do my work right now. I have uh, my instruction, and I have my startup file. So let me follow my instruction. The instructions say this, okay? Uh, Devon and, and company. So you are a associate consultant for Devon and company. A major consulting firm located in Montreal, Canada, and are completing a report for a client on trends in grocery store. Page one, change the case trend analysis to uppercase. So let's do it right now. All right, it's longer, but hey, we still can do it. So trend analysis, let's change to uppercase. We know how to do it, so uppercase. All right. Let's do two. So we toggle that, do two. Two say, all right, well, let me have this uh, page view. Two say this right now. The theme color is green. All right, so let's go right here. All right, so let's go to the design. The theme already choose. All right, the thing is a color has to be green. So, all right, so now we save it. All right, so let's do continue right now, okay? Uh, so next, number three, we're going to have a shape. And it's a rectangle shape, all right? Then, uh, so let's take a look here. Right here, you see, we have a blank. We need to have a shape here. Uh, so let's start it. Mm -hmm. uh, insert a shape. It's a rectangle shape, okay? 
so I'm just going to temporary draw it right here and later go fix it uh, to to the way they want and the shape here I click on the format here uh, the shape is going to be one so that's what okay it's going to be 6.5 all right that's 6.5 all right so the size is fine right now then we are going to uh, the shape style the shape style here uh, is color the fill line accent 3 colored fill line accent 3 well, we are very lucky we got this right now okay and then the outline okay shape outline with no outline we're going to remove the outline okay so now I'm going to drag it so um, so they uh, kind of merge together all right so we are fine right now the page one is uh, beautiful then we done let's go to page two uh, before we do that let's save it now uh, so now we are going to go to page two right now <coughs> page two so uh, so we done this now page two page two we are going to form a overview to size 20 okay and uh, and also apply um, uh, fill green accent shadow text effect so let's do it right now we are page 2 right now so let's go to page 2 okay so the overview okay has to be 20 let's go to 20 overview overview is 20 right now not only that okay and we want it to be fill so let's go to here all right green fill uh green fill accent green fill accent one uh let me see green fill uh accent one okay then uh we need to have a shadow all right so the shadow um mm, all right so fill green accent color one let's go to here let's go to here fill green accent color one shadow that's what we need all right so we got this right now let's save it not easy all right so now we are coming here right now all right so coming here the page two and we need to have a, a grid right here so that's coming right in this blank paragraph right here uh that's insert a smart art the smart art right here we want to be let me see we want to be a uh, grid matrix okay matrix grid matrix okay grid matrix right now all right so we got green matrix and we hit okay all right so the text here you can put the text here the number one text here is uh, local and local and fresh okay and the second one here will be e commerce and the third one here will be shopping and more all right and the last one here will be meal kit all right so we finish now we feel the uh we got the words right here now but we are coming to fix more what they want is they uh wanted just uh to be 
a uh, color fill accent two. Let's do this one. The co color is uh, let me see accent two. This is color fill accent two. That's the color they want. And the effect. Uh, this is the effect, right? So effect will be subtle effect. All right. So now we got this one right now. Okay. So now we got that, and let's continue. We haven't finished yet. Okay. Uh, let's go right here. Hmm. Let's go right here. Okay. So from here, uh, we are going to do this. Look for this and say, hmm, today, a uh, small product, this and that. And so, at the, after the period right here, after the period, and uh, today, after period here. And I am going to insert a footnote, okay? So, right here. So, I go my uh, reference. And so I can insert a footnote. The footnote here will be uh, small products. Producers are those ranked below the top 100 producers. Okay? So we finish that right now. We have our uh, link right here. Now, uh, we are going to do more thing here. Okay, so here, let's take a look our, uh, here. Right now, uh, we are going to do this, okay? We are going to have a uh, text box, okay? Uh, to the right of consumer and the show something like that. All right so and the text box will be 1.5 and 2.3 uh, So we're going to do this right now. All right Okay, so we're going to do this So right here We are at page 2. Okay, so we don't need that we come in here. We are at page 2 Okay, so on the page two here. All right. So, um, on the page, uh, two here. Let me continue. Okay. So, uh, after consumer here, I really need a tax box. All right. So we just come in here right now. Okay. Let me do as a uh, view, as a page view, okay? So I'm going to go to my uh, second page. I'm going to add a text box here. So I say insert, okay, uh, a text box, okay? So let me look for a text box right now. Okay, sorry, couldn't see it. All right, let's go to layout, no, insert, okay. Then I need a text box uh, around here, okay. So let me see, where's my text box? Oh, text box here. So let's do here. So I need to into a, uh, insert a text box. So let's just temporary insert right now, okay and just simple text box okay so i'm insert here but the text box has to be to the right so i'm going to to the right here okay to the right just temporary right here after that temporary right here then i have to fix exactly the same thing what they want so high is 1.5 1.5 okay good now the width is 2.3 2.3 okay so right now and uh, we're going to uh, position this right now 
at bottom right we square tax wrapping so uh, we are going to uh, position here uh, bottom right we square uh, this button uh, button right with the uh, square text wrapping so that's basic what we need to do there's more okay then right here we are going to go to our uh, um, <coughs> file right here let me see uh, let me see right here uh, as coming back to our support um, then add it so I copy this right now, okay? Control C and I can close it. Then I'm going to come in back right here, say Control V. All right, so I, I, I need to copy this thing here, it's okay? All right, so I copy this here right now. Okay, so I haven't finished yet, okay? And this is a, a, a shape, right? So the shape has a shape style so let's go to the shape style the shape style is colored outline Col colored outline and green accent one mm, colored outline uh green accent one okay so that's uh um outline okay then you are going to do this right now okay uh, we haven't finished yet, okay? So I got this uh, color outline. Then I need to go offset, okay? So this is in your, uh, <clears throat> this, is, this in your uh, shape effect. Go to shape effect. On the shape effect right here, there's a shadow, okay? Uh, I need to uh, shadow and I need to go to offset center okay uh, no. so this is offset center okay so there's a shadow and offset center right now all right so um, I got this part okay then I'm going to file save it so once I finish this I can go to my page three. Page three, uh, we are going to fix our uh, picture of grocery store, flip it so it appear uh, correct, okay? And resize it to six inch and uh, simple frame wide picture style. Let's do it right now. So uh, we finally go to our page three right now. So this is our page three right now. Look, this picture is upside down is that right so click on this picture okay and go to picture tool here and I really need to flip it and this one I need to uh, flip it to vertically huh vertically all right so now you this is correct I see the vegetable right here all right so not only that this has to be uh, width is six okay um, okay, let's type in six. All right, so with is six. All right, uh, then uh, we are going to have a frame. The frame is here. Let me see. Simple frame white. That's the first one. That's lucky. All right, so we see it's a grocery store right now. Mm. All right, so we are happy. Now we are coming to here right now okay so next we are going to do this okay so uh, we are going to bullet uh, add so these three uh, add outline this we we going to uh, create a bullet list all right so bullet list right here all right so that's make it clear right now okay now we haven't finished yet, okay so we are coming to this uh, line here, mm, coming back to here. So we, we are here right now, we got bullet list, and let's do 11. Okay, 11 say, uh, we formed a paragraph, okay? 
Ah,、uh, the paragraph beginning Devon Company Fund, blah. Ah,、uh, it, it this paragraph, it has to be green accent one shade color, and the font is white background one and center. Okay, let's do it right now. All right, so we're coming back here. So this paragraph, okay. Number one on this paragraph is going to shading. So this is coming to the shading right now. Shading is green accent one. Let me see. All right, green accent one. I got it right now. So the so the font size need to change. Otherwise, you cannot see the font size change to white. The let me double check. The font size is white background one. Okay, this is white background one. Then also centered. Okay, so centered. All right, so we are done for this right now. All right, so ah、uh, we done for page three. So luckily save. Now let's go page four right now. Page four. All right, so let's continue. Ah,、uh, we are going to page four right now. on page four. Okay, copy the format from tax dining to payment service. Okay, so let's do this right now. We are at page four right now. Page four. All right. Say, dining. We're going to copy the format. Okay, so we're going to format painter and brush over payment surface. So they have the same format. That's what we want to do. Okay. And、uh, we need to continue. Okay. So next,、uh, we are going to format our picture of the meal kit. Okay. So、I、have a border right there, and、uh, position the picture、uh, so that all text uh, uh, section appear to the right of the picture. So let's do it right now. All right. So first of all. Let's go to, ah,、uh, the picture right here. All right, so let's go to the picture right here. So the picture, hmm. All right, the picture need to have a border. Okay, so, ah,、uh, let's go to here right now. And the picture need to have a border, right? So let's go to the picture border right here. Now the border right here, ah,、uh, is a green accent one. Green accent one. All right, we got a border right now. All right, so we got a border right now, and ah,、uh, let me see for me. Ah,、uh, the picture right here. Okay, we add a border right now, and then we're going to position the picture so the all the text in the sub subscription everything here are right here. So all the text and the sub subscription here will go to the right hand. Will go to right hand side. So. We probably need to move right here. Okay. All right. So we got it right now. So subscription meal kit, and we position the picture so that all the body text from the subscription meal kit, ah,、uh, section to the right of picture, and heading, ah,、uh, subscription meal kit appear above it. Oh, we got this right now. Okay, now we need to do something else right now. So, ah,、uh, we are go back to home. Okay, now, ah,、uh, we continue. Okay, continue. All right. So position this. Um. Oh, oh we haven't finished yet here. Ah,、uh, right here, and we ah、uh, we need to change our um wrapping tags. Text wrapping to tight. To tight. Okay. All right. So continue. This this one is long. Okay. 
So let's go to our uh, home. All right. So that's looking for. Uh, okay. So this one is a head. A uh, header two. Okay. So what happened is they want us to change header two style. So we don't need to change all the time. We just change right here, and later we can modify this. Okay, to apply for that. So the header to heading to style want to be fourteen points. Okay, and the color is green accent one. All right. So let's do it right now. So we already saw this is uh ha heading heading two. We just need to modify. Okay, so we modify this and. Want it to be fourteen, so this just change to fourteen. And the color is green accent one. So this is green accent one, and hit OK. So uh, your heading to uh already being changed right now. Okay. Now we are coming to here right now. Going to do these guys. So these guys. We're going to have a, a a tab. We're going to make all the percentage in dry right line. All right. So uh, that will be right here. So you're going to have a custom tab at two point twenty five for all these five paragraphs. So uh, this percentage will align, sep align to the right, separate from the text. Let's do it right now. Okay. So we are going to come right here. So then, um, still paragraph, and we just going to do the tab. On the tab here, hmm, I say two point twenty five. Okay, so two point twenty five. It's okay. Two point twenty five, right align. It's okay. Then hit okay. All right. So we got this right now. Hmm. All right, so save it. Let's move on to page five right now. Okay. All right, so we move on to page five. Uh, on the page five, so uh, on the page five, a store visit section here. We're going to add one more line, and to add twenty twenty one right there, and one point five, and apply. Uh, table style. Okay, so right here, so this one, the last line here, I'm going to add the line below, and add the year is twenty twenty one, and I think the here is one point five. All right, so I'm done for that, and then I need to apply the table style. So I click it. And I go to my table design, and this one is the lease.、Hmm. Let me see. So lease type this table three, this table three accent ah、uh, six. Oh three. Fine. Okay, is this guy? Lease table three accent six. All right, so that's pretty nice right now. All right, so remember we modify our heading two already, so we are going to add add a、uh, adventure. We're going to use our heading two right here. So now this is advantage for that once you change on the top, the rest of them you just apply. You don't need to do individually. Okay. All right, so uh, we are going to uh coming back right here. All right, so for more survey, we're going to make it to more stand out. So we're going to still go to paragraph here. All right, so we're going to make a lot of space before that. So that's thirty six. Make it stand out thirty. Thirty-six points. Okay, and hit okay. All right, so I got this right now. 
So uh, then at the end of four more, uh, all right, so right here, I got 36 before these uh, to separate. All right. And we're going to underline this right now. Oh, all right. So we got underline, uh, uh, underline the email address, okay, to match. Okay, so let me continue right here. Uh, we almost there, okay, hanging there. So what we did is apply 36 spaces and we underline the email address. And we are com coming here. Uh, we're going to insert the square bullet here. Then we need to remove insert square bullet and add the square bullet right here. Okay, so 20 right now, 20. Then uh, we're going to remove hyperlink that's to 2021, okay? All right, so 20 right here insert square bullet so uh, we, we're going to delete that then we're going to insert okay so insert a uh, symbol okay and the symbol right here then make sure this call uh windings windings all right windings uh, once you have windings and uh, you can actually uh, write a number okay i think this number is 110 all right so that's the winding right here and you insert close all right so we got that uh, uh insert that now that looks very nice right now and we need to continue all right so on the same paragraph here, we're going to remove the hyperlink. Remove hyperlink. All right. So uh, let's continue right here. Okay. So now we're going to uh, last uh, three steps. Okay. So we now we're going to add the uh, outside border. Okay. Outside border for all these. Uh, for the last three paragraph thing here okay so let's do this right here so we are going to do this all right uh, so we are going to uh, go to design okay design here and uh, let me have an outside border okay so let me see no, I don't have that. So I go to insert. <coughs> Let's go to home. Okay. And let's still go to border. And outside border. Outside border. Okay. Uh, hold on. Before I have an outside border here, I got to have the color. Okay. Uh, let me see what color they want. Okay. They want dark green text too. Dark green. Dark green. No. Dark green text too. Dark green. Pull. No. Alright, I got it right now. Dark green text to darker 25%. Okay, that's a color they want it. Okay, so um, then we want the outside border with that color. Yes, okay, hold on. No, do I change this? Uh, okay, border style. I need to have dark green here. All right. Then once I have this right now, and I can apply the uh, outside border. Mm, hold on. Uh, outside border here, 
and the outside border oh i already got outside border here is that right then change the border color hmm, let's go change the border color right now all right so uh outside uh, i got the uh, outside border outside oh yeah okay. all right so one more time I need to have an outside border, okay? Outside border. Then uh, I need to have a border color, right? So on the border and shading color right here, and it has to be solid, right? Okay. And has to be a dark green right here. And let me see the width. Always oh, is the same don't change okay then you want it to hit okay um, mm, I didn't have the right color right here so I need to go back to fix it no no hold on hold on no let's go back right now all right so let me go outside border I think I do believe I need to have a uh, color first okay let's do color first okay so color is dark green in text to okay then then apply to then I want to do this is outside border okay so let me see which one is the outside border no then that one right now then uh, I do border here option okay here we go hit right here I got color right now then I got outside border <coughs> I didn't have the correct color right now so let me see one more time maybe this is green color right now all right so outside border outside border mm -hmm. Hold on, 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 hold on. Outside border, okay? Then I go to the border color, okay? So let me come in back right here, right now. Okay. Where's my border color? Let me go to design. Then border color must be somewhere. Where's my border color? Home. That's my outside right here. Outside border, hold on. Let me first have my outside border. Now I need to change my border color right now. Okay, so I am coming to my here and I am going to go to the border color right here. All right, where's my border color? Okay, so Now there, 
believe is the same thing here all right so now i did the change the border right here i need to change the border color right now so i need to coming back here uh go to my border color right here here right now uh, apply to uh, yes apply to an outside border all right what happened right now and hit okay mm -hmm. no back now I see these right now then I want to fix that later and let's see uh, all the shop change to store okay my shop uh, all right then replace by stores oh, oh, yes. all right then replace all there are two okay so close now let's go spelling right now review I'm going to review last time and spelling okay that one we need to change all right so all right venue all right and let me see what else all right is uh what else product all right so we done right here and we file save it all right so now uh beside this color i think is green I, my eyes is no good i think it's green right now so that's coming back to submit it and you see so we coming back right now okay so uh upload all right so 41 number two uh, so two here okay upload all right so ready to submit it i view report i want to save my report to 41 save okay so I'm going to open my uh, report. Uh, 92. <sighs> so I'll fix this part. The move the shape. Uh, position the picture. Uh, the tab. All right. So, uh, so, well, how come this is no good? The was not all right. So, uh, enable editing. So, uh, these I uh, will do the fix, and I hope you uh, uh like this video. Let's stop.